Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video. I'm at Eric's shop today and we're working away on the Cayman and uh, I thought I'd do a quick update for you because we have some cool stuff. Um, we started playing around with like 3D scanning parts of the Cayman. Uh, my friend Roy came by and we scanned a bunch of the parts and it turned out really cool. Um, but we realized we had a lot more, we needed to do a lot more 3D scanning. So I, um, luckily one of my friends put me in touch with Trevor at ACL Design and uh, he came by and we did a full 3D scan of this car today. We did the whole engine bay, uh, a K-series engine, and a few other little bits and pieces. And uh, I got a bunch of footage of that, so I'm gonna try to fit it into this video because it was super cool. His, uh, his equipment is awesome. And uh, it, once I have, I guess, some of that Scandiator stuff to show you guys, I will maybe include it in the video somehow. I don't, I don't know what that'll look like exactly, but it was super cool when he was doing it here. I have a bit of it on, on my camera, so I'm gonna include it in this video. We're all done with the 3D scanning for the day and uh, it's time for, what are we doing now? We're test fitting a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay, no. Anyway, so we're all done with the 3D scanning for today and we, uh, I have something really cool to share with you guys. Eric and I created a billet version of the low profile valve cover that I put on my uh, 911 and I have it on the engine that we have kind of like tucked in place in the Cayman and it looks super cool, so why don't I show you what that's like. Okay, so like I said, got the engine in the engine bay with the billet valve cover, and we, uh, Eric and I, we got a local machine shop to actually make us this billet version of the valve cover. This is the super low profile version of a K-series valve cover that we created for my 911, because Realistically, if you want to do a case swap in a 911, this is the main important piece to make it happen. It is ultra low profile. You can see how low it is because you can see the spark plug tubes are actually sticking out past the valve cover. Um, in order to use this valve cover, you do actually have to cut the spark plug tubes down. At least in this K24Z7, I think some of the older versions of K20s have lower spark plug tubes, but like they, that's a whole different story. We're not going to get go that deep but the reason why we went with this valve cover is so we could use a shorter coil which is the v6 the honda v6 coils they're much shorter than the k-series coils and um, that gave us all the clearance that we needed to be able to run this like a k-series engine in the 911 and we thought we would see what it was like um, putting this valve cover in the cayman because if you run something like this, there's a bunch of different low profile valve covers on the market, but if you run this one or another one, theoretically, you should be able to run a K20 in the Cayman engine bay. And we already test fit it, actually up over here. You can put the engine cover back in place. You can actually see we uh, 3D scanned the engine cover. It's got all the dots. But, but if we take the engine cover, just basically drops into place. Now, 
no issues whatsoever. If there's When you look from beneath, there's about an, almost an inch worth of clearance uh, from the valve cover to this. So for those guys that want to run without having to modify or do anything to the engine cover, I think the, a low profile valve cover would be the solution. And But realistically, if you want to just run a stock valve cover, you could probably just modify this slightly. I think it only interferes like over here a bit. While we're here, um, I also wanted to test fit this. This is a 3D printed version of the turbo manifold that we had uh, had made for the 911. And Roy was cool, he 3D printed this for me so I didn't have to take apart my 911 because that's the only copy I have. So we have this one and we have a K24Z7 in the engine bay. So why don't we take the cover off again. With the cover off, uh, maybe I'll get Eric to Damn. film from up here and I'll put the film on I think. Well, we're filming all right. There we go. So, technically we can use the same turbo manifold that we created for my 911 in the Cayman or Boxster. Um, it looks crazy tight, but it's actually... It's not too bad. It looks tight in the, in the shot, but... It's not like there's a ton of space in this engine bay to begin with, but uh, I think it's a reasonable amount of space, like... Yeah, I'm almost sure that we have to extend this guy a little bit. Just to get him away from that frame yeah, right there. That's, that'd be okay. Yeah. So I'll probably make another one of these turbo manifolds out of steel and get my hands on the turbo. I have an idea of which turbo I'm going to run. And uh, yeah, one of the other things we were working on today was the shifter cables. Let me grab the camera for a second. So the stock Porsche shifter cables come through the middle of the car. And if we route them, kind of loop them back, we can actually connect them to the stock Honda shift selector, which mm -hmm. is super cool. And I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go with this route and we're gonna make a little adapter so we can connect these shifter cables to the Honda shift selector. Uh, and then just a bracket to be able to basically uh, hold the cables to the transmission so they stay put. And then we don't have to do anything in the, end, uh, in the passenger compartment, I should say. Yeah, the passenger compartment will remain untouched. Yeah, super nice. That was what I wanted in my 911, and I, that's what we're shooting for in this Cayman, is to basically not touch anything outside of the engine bay. We don't want to mess with anything outside the engine bay. From, from the outside, from the inside of the car, it'll look like a completely original Cayman. Um, but it will have a Honda engine and transmission in it. Um, so yeah. So we've been messing around with that today. We figured that out. We've fin kind of finalized where the engine's gonna be positioned. And um, I do have a set of Hasport engine mounts. These are EK engine mounts. We only have two of them on at the moment. Um, and I was talking to Brian at Hasport and he's super interested in this uh, project as well. And uh, I think we're gonna be working exclusively with Hasport to create engine mounts. Um, basically use engine mounts that they already have so basically we can spec engine mounts from them, give you the part numbers. You can order the engine mounts from Hasport with whatever stiffness that you want. They're gonna be nice billet engine mounts and you can, you can order them direct and uh, utilize those engine mounts with our subframe that we're creating and uh, mount the K-Series engine in the engine bay. So I'm uh, super excited about that. Brian is amazing. He's like the OG of Honda engine swap, so it's cool to be working with him and Hasport. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. What do you think, Eric? So far, so good? So far, so good. You're still liking it? I was a hater at first, but I'm getting into it. Me? Uh, I, was dis I was discouraged at first. I didn't think this was going to work out when we were going to try to do it with the, uh, the Porsche transaxle, the original en transmission, but doing it this way with the Honda engine and transmission... Uh, mounting it transversely, like you would see in an NSX or an MR2, I definitely think this is the way to go. So, technically no real progress yet. Like, we haven't actually made anything or done anything yet. It's been, we're still in the planning stages. Um, yeah, there's a lot of planning before you can execute. That's the thing. We want to make sure that this is, like, thoroughly thought out, planned, and then develop the subframe. Make sure it's all going to work. Oh, make, make sure that it's... Make sure that a fully working solution, thing, right? Solution, not 
not just like a one-off pipe dream. That's it. We don't want this to be a one-off. Like we could have easily, we probably could have already had this car up and running. Yeah, like if, if it was up to me, I would have one-offed it. We would have yeah. been done a while ago, but we want it to be... There's enough interest in this that people want a solution. And yeah. I think this is a really good solution. Um, there's already guys that have done LS swaps in these cars. And I know you can do... Um, uh, Audi swaps like, like V6s. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I have spoken to uh, Tom, who's in the UK, who actually has already done an Audi swap in his Boxster, and uh, he gave me some good ideas. Um, and that seems like a good option too. But uh, Eric and I are both K series guys, so we're all about doing the K series swap. So this is what we're gonna do. But uh, that might be it for this video. What do you think, Eric? Well, you got all the footage of the scan, so you can put that in there. Yeah, that's already in there. I think I think I'll probably put that in the. I it, think that so will. It's already be. previously enjoyed. Yeah. Um, yeah. For now, we're we're still figuring out the bugs and trying to get solutions for every problem we see, and uh, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer to show something cool. All right, guys. Well, that's probably about it for this video. It's probably probably a quick video. I don't know how long it's going to really be, but um, it's cool. I think it's a cool update. And we had a bunch of cool stuff that we've planned and I think it's looking very promising and this thing is gonna turn out to be super cool. So stay tuned. We, hopefully in the next video, we actually have some like actual tangible stuff to show you guys. And hopefully, I think we're gonna try to temporarily mount the engine in place uh, so we can start figuring out stuff. But uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, like always guys, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And Don't consider, just do it. Or yeah, just click do it. it. Hit, hit, it. hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Thanks guys. Anyway, cool. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye now.